Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Quick Hits. Uh, this is 3D Boxing. Uh, come back twice a day, two shows a day. Quick Hits is at you. Just eight to ten minutes a day, uh, twice a day. Keep you up to date on all the latest in the boxing world. Um, if that's the kind of content you're looking for, you're looking to stay up to date with all the latest in boxing news, please like and subscribe, share with a friend, and share on all forms of social media. Uh but let's get into today's topic, which is the great Tiafima Lopez. What's next for him, um, and, and what does his future hold? Look, the IBF calls his mandatory, uh, and that mandatory is George Cambosis. Now, two things: the IBF is notorious for making you make it, making you take mandatories. The other organizations won't, so that's a plus. Unfortunately, their um, mandatories are historically bad. Uh, they're not good mandatories. They've given you Vincent Fegan boots. They've given you um, Kubrat Pulev. They've given you um, Carlos Ocampo. Um, names like that, which you'll likely forget. Uh, but they called Cambosis. They said Cambosis isn't the worst mandatory. He's not terrible. He's certainly not the best 135 pounder without a world title, uh, but put that to the side. He did just get a win over Lee Selby, a uh, close fight. Look, he's not a bad fighter. He's certainly going to get washed by uh, Tiff Ima Lopez, but it's not the worst mandatory in the world. Apparently, it's going to purse bits. Um, it looks like that unless something comes in from top rank in the last moment and, and uh, buys this fight and, and it pleases all the fighters. Um, this is going to purse bits. And, and when Eddie Hearn said he will be bidding on it, um, and he's got interest in this fight and buying this fight because he's got Devin Haney. Uh, Bob Arum, top rank, Bob Arum said he doesn't want to pay uh, the $1.75 million which, uh, for this fight that T. Ima Lopez is guaranteed. Uh, that as part of his top rank contract, he's given $1.75. Now, if, he, if they don't reach a deal, it goes to purse bids and the highest bidder wins. Bob Arum is perhaps thinking he can get it for less than that, I don't think he can because Eddie's going to buy this. Um, Eddie's going to be aggressive in this. I think Eddie wants this fight. Um, and I, I I think Eddie's going to get it. And I think that's what Bob Arum, like Bob Arum doesn't really want this fight. He doesn't want to pay for it. I think he's going to let Eddie come in and steal it. Um, well, here's why Eddie Hearn wants to fight. Um, because it's it, it, it'll do a good rating. It'll get it'll get people over to the zone. Tio's got a following, not a huge following, but it'll, it'll bring some people over. It, it, it'll it'll do a decent rating and get a decent number. Um, and Tio says he wants to fight Devin Haney. Um, he said Devin Haney should go out and beat someone in the top ten, top ten type of guy, which I agree with. I don't think uh, he's off the mark at all in anything that he says. I think uh, Haney's resume is not great. It's certainly not what Tio has amassed in you know uh, approximately the same amount of time, um, but. Haney should go fight someone, go get a top 10 name, and then they can come see him. Uh, and then we can make that fight, hopefully, at the end of the year. Javier Fortuna is the name that comes to mind. Let Devin Haney fight Fortuna, get that fight, and then moving forward, you know, let's try to get this Haney-Lopez uh, fight done um, for the real WBC champion, whoever that is. Um, and I'm wondering how that lawsuit's going with uh Haney's dad, because it's a legitimate lawsuit. Um, he thinks he's been frauded if he's not the real champ. He's paying these fees for what? It's fair. Um, here's my prediction. Here's my prediction. Eddie Hearn goes to the purse bids, wins the bid, buys the fight, uh, then buys uh, Tiafimo Lopez out of that contract and makes Haney versus Tiafimo Lopez at the end of the year. So at the end of the year, we get Tiafimo Lopez versus Devin Haney. Look, this may sound crazy. Let's hear me out. You can buy yourself out of your contract with, with top rank and Bob Aaron. Floyd Mayweather did it. Oscar De La Hoya did it. Like, it can be done, right? Um, so if 
Eddie Hearn believes, like I do, that, that T.P. Lopez is the next star. He'll gladly buy him out of this contract. Look, Floyd Mayweather got bought out of his contract for seven hundred fifty grand. So it, it's just a matter of money. Eddie Hearn can buy him out, and he can make all that money back with one fight, Devin Haney, this year, and then have a contract, have a relationship with T.P. Lopez and Devin Haney moving forward. Look, whoever loses that fight, Devin Haney, it's not going to be the end of the world. They're so young. He's 22. It's not that big of a deal. He'll bounce back. He'll win world titles, and then he'll be he'll be there. Like it's not like they lose and their career's over. They're so young. They'll be back. He'll be fine. Whoever loses that fight, and that would be Devin Haney. Um, so that's my prediction. I think Eddie Hearn comes and steals the fight, and I think Bob Arum is actually okay with this, which is why he's letting it go to purse pits. Um, so keep an eye out on that, and I, I think we get Cambosis. Uh, Challenging for uh, keeping his belt, middle of the year, and then late in the year, we'll get the uh, Devin Haney keeping Lopez fight, which which is what we all want. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, again, quick hits comes at you twice a day. We just do about eight ten minutes, just like this, real quick, real direct. So I can keep you up to date on what, exactly what's going on in the boxing world. Um, we'll be back later today. Um, we'll be back later today with. Another episode, another eight to ten minutes, and we come at you twice a day, every day, eight to ten minutes to keep you up to date. Um, if that's what you're looking to do. If you're looking to stay up to date on the latest boxing news, please like and subscribe. Uh, share with a friend and share this on all forms of social media. Uh, it is February 16th, 2021. Iron Boy Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to change. Let's get the Iron Boy Ivan Calderon into the Boxing Hall of Fame class 2021 uh, from Texas. To the world, from a frigid Texas, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.